Kids out of the room, please. This is for adults only. I am really hot. I'm really short on time. So I'm going to make this simple. Uh, Louis Farrakhan stood up. He said he delivered it at his speech at Mount Zion Baptist Church in Miami as he called for black Americans to rise up and kill those who kill us. Uh, he called for 10,000 of a million to go out and kill basically white. It doesn't have to be whites. If you think you're a person of color and you think you're safe, you're sadly mistaken. Are the kids out of the room? All right, I'm going to make this short and sweet. I called the Nation of Islam up, and I told them, we will fight you in the streets if we have to. Now, what choice do we have? I called up my congressman, and you know the person who answered the phone said he didn't even hear about this. I said, what the fuck is going on? I said, why has the FBI not arrested Farrakhan? I ought to arrest the goddamn leaders of that so-called church, too. He's calling for mass terrorist attacks like we've been predicting all over the country. I told you people before, get out there and buy guns. You're going to need them. Your government will not protect you. Democrats, Republicans, it doesn't matter. They won't protect you. You're going to have to protect yourselves when or if these shitbags strike. You'll have to protect yourselves. You don't have any choice that. Farrakhan is calling for 10,000 to rise up and commit retaliation in the form of murder and Facebook leaves his page act active while the organization censors milder pages and comments. No shit. Well, there you go. Uh, you don't need any more than this. I'm going to explain something to you. We've had a number of cops killed recently. These incidents are related. We are in a technical state of civil war right now. We don't have to wait for conspiracy theorists. We're in civil war right now. And now, the Nation of Islam is threatening to commit mass terrorist attacks all over this country. This is got to, be, we're going to have to get ready, people. Get your ranks together. You don't have any choice. You'll have to defend your families. We're going to have some police on our side, I'm sure. At least I hope so. Other than that, you're on your own. Obama is not going to protect you. I've told you that before. Get off your ba get off your backsides. Drop your cocks. Grab your socks. Start forming your ranks. This is what the Second Amendment is made for, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. You are the militia. This is a time of national emergency. We gotta let them make the first move. I don't know what else to tell you. If you lie down and just get murdered for the sake of making some goddamn point, you're out of your mind. I'm not going to do it. These bastards come around here, I'll do what I have to. Get off your asses. You don't have any choice. I don't like it, but we don't have any choice but to get ready. Get off your fucking asses. Put away the goddamn beer. 
Turn off the goddamn TV. There's a video. This is on freedomoutpost.com. You can find it other places. They're threatening to kill us. Law enforcement does nothing. You should have been arrested immediately for inciting terrorism. That's what should happen. We don't have a justice system. They don't stand up for us. Get off your butt. <coughs> Get off your ass.